Have you ever wondered about the signs that are said to herald significant events? Recently, a series of natural occurrences at the Dome of the Rock in Jerusalem has sparked intense discussions and fears among many. From unexpected weather to seismic activities, these events have led to a flurry of speculation about their possible significance. So could these be the signs of something greater? Some believe that these events might be signaling the return of Christ and the beginning of the construction of the Third Temple, a topic of much debate and anticipation. Jerusalem's Unusual Events in the city of Jerusalem, a series of natural phenomena have sparked widespread concern and speculation. At the Dome of the Rock, an ancient and revered site, unusual occurrences such as rain, earthquakes, and lightning have been reported. These events have led some to wonder if they signify something more, perhaps even the return of Christ and the rebuilding of the Third Temple, as discussed in various circles. The Dome of the Rock, with its golden dome and intricate tiles, stands as a testament to the power of faith and the rich history of Islamic culture. Constructed in the 7th century on the site of the previous Jewish temples, it has been a focal point for the faithful and scholars alike. The building is not a mosque, but rather a shrine, and its original purpose remains a topic of scholarly debate. Recent calls by an Israeli far-right group for the dismantling of the Dome of the Rock have added to the tension and fear surrounding the site. Such statements have not only caused alarm among those who hold the site dear, but have also led to increased political and religious discourse about the future of this pivotal location. The Dome of the Rock is part of the larger complex known as the Haram al-Sharif, the Noble Sanctuary which is the highest point in Old Jerusalem. This complex, including the Al-Aqsa Mosque, is considered the third holiest site in Islam, believed to be the place from which the Prophet Muhammad ascended to heaven. The significance of the Dome of the Rock extends beyond its religious importance. It is also a symbol of the ongoing Israeli-Palestinian conflict, with both sides asserting claims over Jerusalem. The recent events at the Dome of the Rock have thus not only stirred religious sentiments, but have also highlighted the complex political realities of the region. Amidst these developments, there are those who see the signs of the times as indicators of the Messianic Age, where a descendant of David will rule and the temple will be rebuilt, fulfilling ancient prophecies. Others view these events through a more secular lens seeing them as natural occurrences that have been given religious interpretation. The rebuilding of the Third Temple, if it were to occur, would be a monumental event with significant religious implications for many faiths. It is a topic that has been discussed for centuries, with various groups making preparations and expressing their desire to see the prophecy fulfilled. Dome of the Rock Phenomena Jerusalem an iconic structure with its golden dome is not just an architectural marvel, but also a testament to the intertwined nature of religion, politics, culture, and art. According to Islamic tradition, the rock at the center of the dome is where the Prophet Muhammad began his ascension to heaven. This event is deeply significant in Islam, marking the dome as a site of profound religious importance. However, the construction of the Domi was influenced by more than just religious motives. It was also a statement of the cultural and political dominance of the new Islamic empire. Recently, the city of Jerusalem has been shaken by unusual natural events. Heavy rains and the tremors from a devastating earthquake in neighboring Turkey and Syria were felt here. The Dome of the Rock itself was struck by lightning causing a flash that illuminated the land. This event, along with the earthquake, raised concerns about the safety of this sacred site. Tiles measuring approximately 20 centimeters square were dislodged, and stones fell within the Al-Aqsa Mosque, another key structure within the Temple Mount complex. These occurrences have led to a flurry of speculation and fear. Some see them as signs, perhaps divine messages or omens, 
The question arises, are these events signaling the return of Jesus, as some believe? Earthquakes, by their very nature, are unsettling, reminding us of the Earth's power and our own vulnerability. The Dome of the Rock, built on the site of the ancient Jewish temples, is not only a place of worship, but also a symbol of the ongoing struggle for Jerusalem. It is a city claimed by multiple faiths, each with deep historical ties to this land. The recent events at the Dome have only intensified the discourse around the city's future and the prophecies associated with it. For many, the idea of the Third Temple's reconstruction is tied to the Messianic Age, a time of peace and divine rule. The thought that current events could be harbingers of this age brings both hope and trepidation. Yet for others, these are merely natural phenomena interpreted through the lens of faith and tradition. As the world looks on, the Dome of the Rock remains a beacon of the past and a symbol of the future. It stands resilient against the elements, a reminder of the enduring human spirit and the search for meaning in the face of the unknown. Whether one sees the recent events as portents or not, the impact on the collective consciousness is undeniable. The Dome of the Rock continues to inspire awe and reflection, a golden sentinel watching over Jerusalem, as it has for centuries. In the city, people were going about their daily lives when news spread that something extraordinary had happened at the Dome of the Rock. The ancient site, revered by many, was suddenly at the center of a global conversation. Reports claimed that an event had occurred that terrified the world, stirring thoughts of prophecies and end-time scenarios. The Bible, a book held sacred by millions, speaks of times when the earth will face great trials. It tells of natural disasters worsening, signaling the approach of a significant era. Among these signs, earthquakes stand out as a harbinger of the times to come. In the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 3, Jesus Christ speaks of famines, pestilences, and earthquakes occurring in various places. Similarly, the prophet Isaiah warned of a time when the earth would be shaken by the power of the Lord, bringing thunder, earthquakes, and great noise. He spoke of a day when people would seek refuge from the Lord's majesty, hiding in the rocks and caves, now, with the event at the Dome of the Rock, these ancient words seem more relevant than ever. The world is left to ponder the meaning behind these occurrences. Are they mere coincidences, or are they signs of something greater? As the prophecies suggest, such events should prompt reflection and action. They serve as a reminder not to be consumed by the distractions of life, but to remain vigilant and prayerful. The message is clear, be prepared, watchful, and worthy, for the unexpected can happen at any moment. The Bible's warnings are not to be taken lightly. They call for earnest consideration and a readiness to face whatever the future holds. Dome of the Rock Concerns Dome of the Rock is a place that has seen centuries of prayer, from its origins as a modest house of worship after Prophet Muhammad's death to the grand structure it is today. For many Palestinians and Muslims, there's a fear that this site, which they hold dear, could one day be claimed for the construction of the third and final Jewish temple, as foretold by tradition. The significance of the Dome of the Rock extends beyond the complex dispute over land and religious claims. It houses the first monument of the Muslim faith, a structure that revolutionized art, perception, and architecture across the globe. Jesus was born into this rich tapestry of religious diversity. Raised in a Jewish household, he grew up among these traditions. The world was shaken when an event at the Dome of the Rock sparked widespread terror. It wasn't just the immediate impact that caused fear, it was the thought that this could be a sign of the prophesied return of Jesus. The Bible speaks of such signs, warning of earthquakes and calamities that will precede his coming. As the news spread, people everywhere began to wonder if this was the beginning of the end times. 
The event at the Dome of the Rock served as a stark reminder of the prophecies that have been passed down through generations. It called into question the very nature of our existence and what lies ahead. In these moments of uncertainty, the teachings of the Bible offer guidance. They urge us not to dismiss its words simply because they challenge our reasoning or beliefs. Instead, they call us to repentance and to a life aligned with God's will, promising joy and abundance to those who follow His path. Okay, I know curious about what's next in the prophecy timeline, but before we continue, just hit that subscribe button below because your support means a lot for us. Temple Mount Issues Jesus, a figure of immense influence throughout history, was a Jew who lived among Jews. His life and teachings have inspired millions, yet his own people have often overlooked his significance. This is partly because the Christian narrative of Jesus introduced concepts that were incompatible with Jewish beliefs. Jesus was not seen as an outsider in first century Palestine. He was a reformer of Jewish faith, not a critic. The significance of Jesus for Jews lies in his life, a life of faith in God. For Jews, it is God alone who is Lord. Yet, there is a growing pride among Jews that Jesus was one of their own. This pride is intertwined with the history of the temple in Jerusalem, a central place of worship for the Israelites and Jews. The first temple, built by King Solomon, was a symbol of divine presence, destroyed by the Neo-Babylonians in 586 BCE. This event was a crisis for the people of Judah, as it was believed to be the chosen dwelling place of God. The second temple, built in 516 BCE, became the heart of Jewish worship and identity until its destruction by the Romans in 70 CE, leading to a long Jewish diaspora. Today, the Western Wall, a remnant of the second temple, is venerated as a sacred site in Judaism. There are diverse views among Jews regarding the rebuilding of a third temple. Some believe in a divine prophecy of a third temple in the Messianic era, while others view the idea symbolically or theologically rather than as a political goal. The site of the second temple is also sacred in Islam, housing the Dome of the Rock and the Al-Aqsa Mosque, one of Islam's holiest sites. There are claims often cited by Islamic scholars like Dr. Israr Ahmed that Jews intend to destroy the Al-Aqsa Mosque to rebuild the temple. The recent event at the Dome of the Rock has terrified the world, raising questions about the coming of Jesus and the potential fulfillment of prophecies. It has sparked a global dialogue on the significance of these sacred sites and their role in religious eschatology. Recently, an event at this iconic structure sent ripples of fear across the globe, stirring conversations about ancient prophecies and the second coming of Jesus. The Dome of the Rock, along with the Al-Aqsa Mosque, is located on the Temple Mount, a site venerated in Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. It's a place where geopolitical and religious tensions often converge, particularly in the context of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Dr. Ahmed, among others, has voiced opinions that reflect the complex interplay of global politics and religious dynamics. These views, while rooted in personal interpretations of religious texts, underscore the deep-seated sensitivities surrounding Jerusalem and the Temple Mount, any perceived threat to the Al-Aqsa Mosque or the Dome of the Rock could potentially escalate tensions significantly. As a result, Israeli and Palestinian officials, along with international bodies, strive to maintain the status quo at these holy sites to prevent conflict. In Jewish eschatology, the concept of a third temple in Jerusalem is of profound importance. There are reports of active preparations for the temple's construction, including the training of Levites and the crafting of sacrificial instruments. Even red heifers have been imported from Texas to Israel, as they are believed to play a vital role in purification rituals necessary for the temple. 
The leadership of Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has been a subject of controversy, with critics like Avigdor Lieberman metaphorically accusing him of leading Israel toward a Third Temple destruction, alluding to the historical destruction of the first two temples and expressing concerns about Israel's current political direction. Amidst recent conflicts, there has been an increase in the number of Jews visiting the Temple Mount, a site of immense religious significance to both Jews and Muslims. This rise, particularly during times of tension, highlights the deepening religious and nationalistic sentiments tied to this contested sacred space. The Bible does not explicitly link the timing of the resurrection with the construction of a new temple in Jerusalem. However, it is mentioned that by the midpoint of the tribulation, a temple will exist and be defiled by the Antichrist. The tribulation is said to begin with a deceptive peace treaty between the Antichrist and the Jewish people, which could potentially lead to the building of the third temple. Yet, such interpretations remain speculative and are part of the broader discourse on end-time events. As the world looks on, the recent event at the Dome of the Rock has reignited discussions about the coming of Jesus and the potential fulfillment of biblical prophecies. It has brought to the forefront the delicate balance between respecting religious traditions and the anticipation of prophetic events challenging us to consider the implications of such occurrences and their profound impact on the future of Jerusalem, a city that continues to hold a key place in the hearts of many believers. Antichrist's Temple Profanation Also, there is another event there that has captured the world's attention, stirring fears and discussions about biblical prophecies and the end times. According to Christian eschatology, a figure known as the Antichrist will emerge, compromising a peace agreement and declaring himself God within the temple. This act is said to occur 3.5 years into a seven-year period of tribulation, marking a pivotal moment in the prophecy. The temple, which must be rebuilt before the Antichrist's appearance, will become a symbol of his earthly rule, powered by malevolent forces until the return of Christ. The Apostle Paul spoke of the Antichrist's identity being hidden from the world until a restrainer is removed from the earth. It is believed that the resurrection of the church will precede this revelation, meaning that believers will not know the Antichrist's identity while on earth, although they may witness the initial steps toward fortifying the Jerusalem temple. The late 1980s saw the beginning of increased efforts to prepare for the rebuilding of the temple, spearheaded by the Temple Movement Project. The Temple Mount Faithful, an organization dedicated to this cause, has been actively working to prepare Israeli society for the temple's reconstruction. They have created various temple-related items, including a portable altar for sacrifices, in anticipation of proper worship being restored at the Temple Mount. As we observe these developments, the church body awaits the rapture, an event that could occur at any moment. This anticipation is heightened by the recent events at the Dome of the Rock, which have brought the ancient prophecies to the forefront of global consciousness. The unfolding events serve as a reminder of the deep spiritual connections that many hold to Jerusalem and its holy sites. The Dome of the Rock, a structure that has stood the test of time, continues to be a focal point of reverence and contention, symbolizing the enduring legacy of faith and the prophetic visions that shape the beliefs of millions around the world. Now, before leaving, make sure to give this video a thump and also subscribe to our channel for more future content. Meanwhile, thanks for watching.